Okay, we are live. So we'll um, a few minutes for people to come in. Um, so if you're watching on YouTube a little bit and um, yeah, we'll just wait for a couple. I think the light and everything looks okay. This glare over here annoys the hell out of me, but not much I can do about it. Because I like my overhead lights. Arting with light on is really a good thing. Yep, it's the overhead light, so. I can. We'll just give it a few minutes. Um, people come popping in here pretty quickly. I'll get my pop out chat. Um, yeah. Hi, Juanita. Julie, Dorothy, Candy. Hi, you guys. The notification should have gone out, so it'll just be a minute or two. That doesn't take long, and we do trash art today. Hi, Michelle. Hi, Joan. No. Okay, I think we're set up. Woohoo! Kind of figure out where my workspace is here. Well, I'm going to show stuff first. So, hi Gina. Thanks you guys for coming. It's going to be a pretty chill day actually. <clears throat> With any luck. I've got a big mess here already. I hope Eileen comes because this place is a mess already and I haven't done it. Janet, can you tell me where to find out about how your justice system works? My guess is, Dorothy, if you just type into any of your search engines, whichever you use, um, United States system, um, you would get um, probably more than you could read in a life. Hi, Patricia. Hi, Joy. Um, it's really not that complicated. Um, hey, Kenny. I did with Dee Dee's this morning and I said hi, but I never, I guess, I was busy this morning, so I don't know if you have said hi back. Hi, Betty. Um, it's pretty simple. It's um, the third branch of our government. Um, And I will say, honestly, I am a dumb American. I don't know much about how your judicial system works. So I can't compare for you, Dorothy. I really can't. But if you can just, um, message me um, on Twitter or anywhere, and I'll try and answer any questions you have. You are busy with phone calls. See, that's how I usually am on Mondays too, Kenny. There's always a million things I think, oh, I got to do that Monday morning. Because you can't do it on the Hi, Val. Hey, Dee Dee. Okay, Dee Dee's here, and I know she's probably not going to stay the whole time. So while we were at Dee Dee's this morning, Julie was talking about the um, carousel horse that she painted for her aunt, I believe. And um, it was pretty. It was really, really pretty. Um, and many, many years ago, I mean, it was shortly after I moved into this house now 24 years ago um i got a hold of a carousel horse um i painted it like um if you guys are in the united states you know one of the um nfl's major league teams is the denver coast and of course we came from colorado so we were huge fans and i this is the only picture i could find Dee Dee, and if you want it, he looks either stoned out of his mind or drunk as hell. But he was old enough, so it's okay. Um, but th this was the bronze. I painted it white. And if you can see behind his legs, it's got a guy and a leaf. You have um, better pictures. I just couldn't find them. Um, but they were the AF AFC champions. Oh, well, that's got a date on it okay i'm 1897 
is when I did this. So I had just moved into this house. And then all those numbers are, are some old um, players that were just awesome Denver Bronco players, John Elway, um, Rich Little. Um, oh, what's his name? I can't believe I've forgotten some of their names. But yeah, that was a Denver Bronco horse. When I moved into this house, the, the woman who owned it before me had several of those horses. And she was like, do you want me to leave them? I was like, no, leave one. Don't leave the rest of them. But they are, that was truly off of um, a carousel. That was carousel size horse. And he still has it. Um, I don't know how it's weathered all these years. Um, I haven't been up in that this house forever. He's got um, like a Bronco memorabilia sort of room. And yeah, so he um, has it up there. And this week, I, th I might have gotten this before last week's stream and just forgot to show it. I got a card from um, Teresa Peterman. She always makes such beautiful cards. And you guys, keep her in your prayers because I know doing this really, really hard for her. Um, just because of physical ailments she has, her hands aren't working well. And so she always makes these beautiful cards. Thanks, so you can use them. So, Teresa, thank you so much. And she always writes a really nice letter. And she lived in Loveland, Colorado, in Denver and, and Boulder. And... Um, so all the places she talks about where she hiked, and I was a hiker back in college, this is that I've been. So it's almost like reliving part of my life when I read her letters. And it makes me wonder, too, how many Tisa and I probably crossed paths and just didn't know it, you know? Of course, I, who knows? But it's interesting. She made me this um, cool envelope. And put a bunch of this um, paper in it. So, yeah. Thank you, Therese. Enjoy getting your letters. Um, it's so thoughtful of you. And I do keep you in my prayers. So, thank you. So, that was one thing. I didn't want to forget to show this time. And um, I'm still doing um, Lena's. Um, Zentangle um, project. So I think these are the ones that I haven't shown last week. So I'm having fun doing it. I do try and do one a day. Over the weekend, I did two on one day. They're fun. Fun as all get out. And you can get the list, if you're interested, off of Galena's, um, it, I got it on Galena's Instagram page. So this was a brand new one to me. I had never drawn it. It looks like sperm to me, but what the hell do I know? Hey, CB, you got in time to hear that. So those I will photograph eventually, hopefully, get up on um, Instagram I so bad lately. And then this morning, because I was going to do this trash art project, I went looking for um, an example of it so you guys could see it. And this is what I'm talking about when I talk about trash art journal covers. This was a scavenger hunt from I don't know what year. I'll look real quick. Hopefully I have it in here. This is 29. So this was last year's. And then this is one that I made for myself that I put um, my paper in. But I haven't used it yet. But I'm going to really soon. So this is exactly what I'm going to do today. I can't believe he's not here to enjoy it. Hi, Claire. Hi, Flo. Anybody else? Asa. 
Uh, thank you, Asa. And then while I was, um, you guys have seen the beast a million times, right? But while I was looking for these journal, those other journals, um, I found the precursor to the beast. I used to use these little um, journals that I got um, Michaels for like no money. And I thought, oh man, I haven't seen them for so long. So this is what where it started was in just the, I think I got them for like 50 cents or something. And this was the precursor to the beast. I glued tons of crap in them. I don't know which one was. These are from 20. So I have a book like this all the way back to 2014. Anything that happened in my life in all that time. So start a journal today. These are pre-beast. This is what that's what started the beast. So now those can go back. And I thought today I would go ahead and do the same journal cover in the size of a traveler's notebook. And if you're not familiar with a traveler's notebook, this is the Midori. Um, it's just a leather cover with um, elastic binding. So you can take your books in and out. So, yeah. I have tons of them. Dee Dee showed them before. She has chunky months. This one has a lot of my doodles in it. So, yeah. I should doodle in this more. Right? Pages that fell out. That's awesome. Oh, that was Halloween is why I tore it out of another book and put it in here. So, yeah. That's what we're going to do today. Did I say hi, Tracy? Yeah, all the thumbs up you give are truly appreciated. So this is where we're going today. And I think that's all I have to show. I haven't bought anything. I haven't ordered anything. Um, I'm a poor, deprived child is all I can say. A world-class doodler. Yeah, I, I love to doodle. And I like to, like, if I see an idea in a book, I know me, and I know I won't remember where I saw that. So I try and put it in one place where if I want to go back and, you know, refer to it again, I have it in one place. So that's how the doodle book got started, was because I wanted everything in one place. So here's a bucket of trash. Some of this is new that I just made this, all this is new that I just made this morning. And then here's the rest of the trash that Eileen makes me keep. So it won't take much. It does not take much trash. Your back's hurting? I'm sorry. Go get a heating pad. My back killing me last week. I was telling Dee Dee, oh my God, there was one day all I could do was lay down. You know when you get it in a catch? Don't even know what you did. Just starts hurting so bad in one place and um you can't even breathe in that was me yeah this is new trash i just got out some sprays and sprayed it because i like this lightweight paper you can see on this one but after you're done with these because there's every way to paper on here you guys can't see it but it's got a lot, a lot of texture. And this lightweight paper smooths over the cardstock and stuff really neat. Yeah, to feel, it just feels really, really good. So that's what we're doing. And I even got out some gauze and the circles, tons of circles. This is the tub of circles. I don't know why some are in bags and some aren't. I have no clue what that's about that's just pretty much my life and then I also like the um, Tim Holtz um, tissue paper yeah so I got some of that out and then this is what is this this was in with the other trash 
It's just strips of paper. Oh, these are the things that I must off. Oh, I know what they are. These are pieces that are left over from doing the um, the mosaic covers. They're a little bit more tedious than this. This, I just have to glue crap down and entertain you guys. So that's what we're going to do. Any questions? And I cut two just in case. And I know they're going to be a mess. I almost want to put on gloves. Because my hands will never, ever, ever be the same. So I'll just start it. Is the coloring and everything okay, Dee Dee? Sound, everything's fine. I've just jumped right in, assuming that it is. My poor glue brush has seen better days. Look at that poor glue brush. Oh, well. All right. Let's just start. So I didn't do much over the weekend. Um, Robert's son and daughter-in-law came, which was fun. We don't, well, since coronavirus crap, we haven't had hardly any visitors. So it was kind of fun to have somebody actually come to your house and then we went and got something to eat. So that felt like crazy to do that. Hi, Nancy. C She's talking to CB. Dorothy always throws me because she does everything in caps. And I'm just getting some color down now. Half to not even remain when we're done. I'll try and stay away from that crease um, a little bit. Hopefully a lot of this is not water soluble. Um, product so it won't be smearing but a lot of it's going to be magicals and who knows what else thank Carla hi by the way I'm using um, Golden Matte Medium, same thing as Dee Dee. Um, for glue and muff, um, if you want a nice, um, smooth finish, it works really well. So, yeah, Golden Matte Medium. I use it pretty much all the time. At the beginning, it's just getting stuff down. And if you're going to do this, you could go with a color theme. I mean, I could have just started with um, a colored paper stock so I wouldn't have to go through this part of it. Um, yeah, just all up to you, whatever you like. When my brush starts getting dirty... Um, just clean it. In fact, it's probably time right now. Because something here has bled. The blue striped paper has a face on it. What? 
This one has a face on it. See, people see the craziest stuff in this. It's like, where did you come up with that? I don't see a face. We're crazy right up. And the inside cover, I probably will um, use little paper towels. But right now, I just want a lot of texture and color. Tell me if you can hear Mr. Vaughn and his weed eater out there. Uh, and I'll tell him to go turn it off. Hopefully, you won't be near the window too much longer. Ooh, that purple smeared. Yeah, I, I covered him up. Sorry. Let's see. Hi, Gail. Anybody I missed? Some of this might actually end up crash today. <laughs> I might actually throw stuff away. Like those little pieces. Ugh. So this is kind of what Dee Dee was doing this morning only I, well I will end up using some acrylic paint a little bit later to um, add some stenciling or whatever And I do try and stay away from that crease because when it folds, I'm only going to put um, lightweight paper on it so that I don't in with the fold, right? Hey, Norma. How's everything? I'll do it right now. fold it right now so it gets the relief that it needs there we go that'll help And don't be all wrinkly. Had a busy weekend? I think that's a good thing, right, Norma? It's kind of nice to say I had a busy weekend um, after not having anything for so long. That's how I felt this weekend. It was just like, oh, this is nice to finally have company and doing something like you would do in real life yeah it was awesome
I had too much water in my brush. When I pick up these pieces, I don't know which ones um, have water soluble junk on them or not. Just don't, don't know. Finding out the hard way. I really don't care if there's wrinkles or anything like that. Hi, Sharon. I think this one is probably going to bleed. Curving it down toward the paper. And I don't worry about the back getting gooey or I'm going to cover it last, so it doesn't matter. Get out some circles because we can. I really have no idea why some of these were, they're not anymore. Maybe alcohol inks, I don't know. to get you in stricter lockdowns just waiting to hear what and how thanks Flo um really I don't know Robert and I went to um Joplin what was it last Thursday was it only Thursday um and I don't know what Missouri's numbers are I don't pay much attention but just driving around and being in Joplin you couldn't tell any it was just normal life I'm ready to get back to normal life and I'm at Pilar oh and I forgot some of these have glitter and stuff on them of course they won't after I map medium but I think the circles make it really, really fun. Yeah. And after after I start getting elements here and there that I really like, then I'll stop putting anything on them. Like that circle there, the outline of a circle, I like, I'll try not to jack with that one.
some of these too I probably should um, ink the edges I think I'll try right now front or a back so it doesn't really matter Pretty much back to normal there except for indoor mask mandate social distancing and sanitizer that's kind of how it is here norma um yeah i have a whole box full of them Didi. if you want more all you got to do is speak up um yeah most places i think out of courtesy whatever um people are being pretty mindful of wearing a mask um some places have signs on the door that say a mask are required and I have not seen any um, unrest, you know, where people are yelling at anybody or saying that may be happening, but I sure haven't seen it here. I would be um, really, really surprised, in fact, if it did happen here. People here just don't act like that. Or if they do, you know, you got to keep in mind, too. I don't go anyplace, so what the hell do I know? Don't ask me. But, no, people are, I think, part pretty gracious. and And it fits right into my way of life, so um, I'm good with it. Because there's too many buttholes out there. And, of course, now we're end of our um, season, being end of summer. And there were a few people here this weekend, but it was like a whole different life this weekend with just people coming down swimming pools are closing now so yeah so it's oh I like that one we're gonna put that over that yellow I hope it doesn't um, bleed keep your fingers crossed all right, let me read chat. Yeah, there's some crazy stuff going on in the world. The thing is, just do your part, you know, try not to be ugly to other people. I mean, I think that's pretty much what I try and do. I'll do my part. I'm not going to be ugly about it. I'm not going to dislike you because your view is different than mine. Um, one thing I, I do just absolutely hate about it is that they've made people... Um, I don't think you have to go through life being afraid. You know if you're vulnerable, take the precautions. That's that. I mean, it's it's honest to God as simple as that. I need a baby wipe. Hi, Lane. Got paint up to your elbows. Good girl. Good, good girl. Pretty quiet over here on the island now, Elaine. You're gonna have to pick out a day and come over. Um, this week is pretty nice. Not a lot of people. Um, trying to think what I did yesterday. Eddie and Kelly came Saturday. I think yeah, I didn't do much. I 
have no place to put stuff. I know that. I think these that I just put on, that piece that I just put on, I think those are Seth Apres, and I think they're supposed to be um, permanent, if I remember correctly. Somebody in chat will know for sure. I do like them, though. I like them a lot. percent of people testing positive have no symptoms yeah that's one thing if if i was going to say anything is as you're hearing numbers and thinking about how your life is being impacted whatever that the survival rate and i think this is the thing they need to report more of is the survival rate is 98.6 or 98.7 it's 9.6 or 99.7 it's very very high so yeah just remember that. And if you're vulnerable, God, take the pins. That's that. I mean, and at the beginning, I worried an awful lot about Robert because he'd been through the leukemia treatment. You know, there was so much unknown. Now I'm just like, whatever, we're going to live life. Life is too short to go around being scared of every damn thing. We're living life. Oh, and that reminds me. I, need, I meant to look before I came on. I may not be streaming next Monday. My memory tells me that somehow I got a doctor's appointment. Um next Monday. I know I do that because I know Monday's stream day, but I think last time I let Robert set up the appointment himself. Number one, one mistake. Don't ever let a man do something that you should be in charge of. Life's decisions, that's women's work. Um, let me check real quick, thinking about it, so you guys know. Is the 28th Monday? Today's the 21st. So I think ne the 28th is next Monday. Somebody in chat will tell me if the 28th is Monday. Or the, yeah, 928 is the day. And when I mentioned it to Robert, he said, well, we can call and change it. Well, I'm not going to change it. Because we've been there, done that. noped up the date for me yet. 
Somebody needs to do that. Yeah, if, if it's getting crazy in chat, just don't talk about it. Because we're really here just to hang out and art and be buddies. Okay. CB saying to add seven. That's pretty much what I thought. So, yeah, next Monday, I won't be streaming. I will be in Joplin shopping, getting pl blood tests, hanging out in doctor's offices, which I hate more than anything on planet. I mean, I really hate sitting in doctor's offices. Fortunately, we don't have to do it very much. The inky edges of that one. Oh, well. That one had all glittery on it, too. I need a lightweight, really pretty paper. If they let you in the building, that is. Um, last time we went, which was three months ago, um... Yeah, they they let us in. Um, but really, there wasn't much different there either, surprisingly. I mean, it was just... that red but I'm afraid that's gonna smear too bad There you go, Michelle. I agree with you there. That's one thing I would say is do your own re research. Don't trust what you're hearing. Well, I'm liking it. It's really, really colorful and pretty, and that's what I was hoping for. I really need to go through my trash. My Oh, here's some good red. Sweet.
another really good thing to use to this, I was just thinking, because I think that one I just put on is in fact a napkin. A napkin would work really good for this. It really nice, pretty colorful ones. So I should have pulled out some napkins. I don't like matte medium on my hands. See where the edge is. Off the edge, so I've lost them. Rats coming. Maybe not. Hi, Jilly. How are you? Looking down or looking at it in the camera, it looked cool. I don't like that white line right there, so I'm going to break that up somehow. Sometimes you can see it way, way better um, in the camera than you can when you're sitting here working on it. Definitely fix that. Don't like it. Now that I'm getting several layers, um, you can see in the texture, and to feel it when it's dry is going to feel really cool. Um, and I think you ha almost have to um, see it to appreciate how the, the layers start building up and you start getting hills and valleys and good looking. That one's very glittery. I'm thinking I am, Dee Dee. Um, no, I'm not doing toys. I'm doing, I think, two cartoon characters. Um, and I think it was because of somebody, one of the cartoon guys we were watching. I don't remember. But anyway, um, I thought, man, there's so many cool cartoons that I didn't draw the first time. We need to do volume two. Um, cartoon characters. No, oh, that one's cool. But I don't know. I go back and forth. This weekend when I was drawing the, um, Zentangle, I was thinking, why don't I just do Zentangle and finish, continue with that project? It would be stress-free. Um, 
so I don't know. Who knows? I won't know until probably what I'm actually going to end up doing. That's the truth. But, yeah, there's a ton of cartoon characters that I'd like to do. But then I think, oh, but I've made the time in the past. I'm not sure why I'm thinking, oh, don't pick something that's going to take so much time. Yeah, I've got nothing but time, right? It's pretty much what life is, just time. Got to make it a priority. And I do want to, um, yeah, if I commit to do it, I want to do it good, you know? So, but yeah, I think Cartoon Characters, Volume 2. And then I think I am going to um, take all of the Inktobers that I've done, because this will be the fifth year. Um... I think I'm going to take all the ones that I've done and put them in one book. And it'll be like a five-year book. I don't think I would enjoy drawing bugs, but I have to say I love Dee Dee's bugs. So I'm glad she's doing it and not me. But this is a fun piece of trash. See, it's gold. I like that. Let me look. This is glued to the table, so I think I better unglue it right now. <laughs> what area looks like it needs something? I don't like this big green over here. I think I'll break it up some. And that big blue circle there, I think, needs to be broken up. But I've got a crease. Okay, that can go there. Now I'm starting to put things in specific places because I'll like them that way. Stay away from the crease. And you can't screw up. So that's a good thing about this. You cannot up. Oh, and then the painting that I did last week, and I tried to use the magicals on top of it, you guys. Um, after that dried, I really didn't like it. So I haven't added it away, but I didn't finish it either. And I don't think I'm going to. I'll just start a new painting. It was an experiment, it, and I don't like it. All right, if I go ahead, I'm just seeing there's only one, wait, one, two places where you can still see. The white, so I'll cover those and find something cool in trash pile. Thanks, Flo. Very modern art. Yeah. I like them when they're all done. I might be that piece on if it's gonna, not going to lay down flat. Where's a little... My hands will be dirty a week from now. Where was I going to put this? I saw a perfect place. Sure, I'm 
sure if that was it, but that's where it's going to live. Yeah, it's a traveler's notebook. Um, okay, Elaine, there's two different kinds of gesso. You can buy white gesso, black gesso. Well, there's multiple kinds, but you can buy white, clear, or black. So depends on which gesso you're using, what your finished product is going to be like. I don't have any of the black I have. And... Um, Clear. I like the clear just so I think better than the white. But it just depends on what you're doing, I guess. Gesso is good for um, adding texture for sure. So all that junk that you would throw away, Eileen would tell you to keep it. All right, I'm going to set this one aside and let it dry. I need something colorful in there. I think I'm just going to add that right off the edge. And I'll start a second one. And um, I probably won't finish them today, but I'll probably do a giveaway and give one of these away. And I'll fill it with some sort of paper. How about that? Let's do two because we got so much time left. I'll just slap a bunch on and use some inks on it. There you go. Oops, using white, but thought it would dry clear. Yeah, it's not going to dry. Now, well, check the bottle, Eileen, because some, um, it could appear white and it's going to dry clear. I'm going to start this one much the same way. Do the spine first. Don't go beyond that. Ooh, and that was movable, so now everything's going to be blue. Oh, well. There you go. Don't get bummed out. Make lemonade. And then sometimes you never know. Accidents can turn out um, really fun. And you learn something. this case blueberry jam there don't sweat the small stuff that was some distress ink I know that and I don't remember if distress moves or if it doesn't I don't know Well, CB, that's that's exactly what has happened in the past. The when something's smeared, and 
and turn some of the others the color that was smearing it did actually um, in fact that scavenger hunt was exactly what happened and it ended up yeah making it all more you look more uniform there's nothing wrong with that but it, as soon as that mess on there and dry then it quits um don't sweat the petty stuff and don't pet the there you go <laughs> And the more, most of this is going to be covered, so that's why I don't worry too much about it. And I'll just keep using, do the back at the same time, or the front, whichever. up in my computer screen where I can't read chat. I did go to um, Hobby last Thursday when I was in there. Kitty, what did I tell you I bought? I didn't really buy anything. I walked in there and I I was just not in the mood to shop at all. Because I think I, I I think all I bought was some um, eight B pens. Literally, I bought almost nothing. Nothing I needed. Stuff had to go look though. Get, just get out of the house and yeah, see that's just it. Oh, that's it. Right. I bought the number one brush and the six B pencils and that was it. I was just like, there's nothing I need. There's nothing I want. Get to go in and walk around, but yeah. And I didn't even show you. Hey guys, we got a brush and some pencils. That was it. And I didn't even go into Tuesday morning. Um, oh, that was the key debacle day, right? <laughs> Robert needed a key to a motorcycle. And I felt like, I told Judy when this all happened, we, um, the key guy up there right we needed a key and it was not going to be an easy key to find and so we called this guy and he says well i don't really have an office um why don't you just meet me in sam's club parking lot so we're like driving over um all over joplin trying to meet up with this guy and i told robert i feel like we're making a drug deal you know like meeting in parking lots and we did end up getting the key, 
but not before we'd driven all over town 15 or 20 times. It's un-American to go into Hobby Lobby and not buy anything. I was pretty darn proud of myself, frankly. One way you can prevent yourself from buying stuff <laughs> is say, okay, when I get this home, where am I going to put it? Never mind, you don't need it that bad. Flow it really is. It's nice to be able to say that there's nothing I need or not want. And that is absolutely the truth in my life. That's why, like, for birthdays and stuff like that, Robert will invariably ask me, what do you want for your birthday? It's like, I, there's nothing I need or want, honestly. Hey, Joycey. Um, let's go out and have a nice meal or something. But, yeah, I, there's just nothing... I need or I want. Honestly, if there's something I need or want, I get on Amazon and order it. Good thing it wasn't there because we can talk. Well, that's probably true too, Elaine. When I'm there by myself, I can have time to think, you know. What, what are you going to do with that when you get at home? Never mind. If somebody's there, now I'll start putting on a little bit thicker things, so... I'll start getting some texture. Some of these two, like this, the ones that have card stock on them, um, you could just as easily use Aline's Tacky so you know that um, it's not going to move. This should keep it in place, so it should be fine. Oh, that green definitely been. Oh, well. All right, digging down. God, I can't believe Eileen is missing Trash Art Day. I don't have any clue where, but yeah, she is so missing Trash Art Day, that girl. Judy. I hope this green doesn't move. Oh well, we're just going to go with it and see. Oh, I don't think it's moving. Yeah, baby. <clears throat> she had a date with her pool boy. 
Well, she needs to get her priorities straight. That's all I got to say. Oh, I hope that orange stays bright, too. I'm not a huge orange fan, frankly, but a little bit of orange and red here and there is really not pop out at you. Why is Judy being naughty? I'm going to sit by Judy. cool colors and grays yeah see i do too but a pop of like red here and there can be really really nice especially on something like this um on that scavenger hunt book there was a couple of places where the red just popped out and it was like oh now that's nice Some of these pieces I can think back projects we were doing when they were originally created. That's pretty weird. You can definitely tell that I use blues and purples more than any other color. And I'm going to be adding black, so um, that's why I'm trying to stay away from the black colors, because I'll be adding those, or adding black, later. back together no waste yeah well uh, the truth is every bit of this would have been if it wasn't for Eileen I promise you I would not probably have saved any of this and I definitely wouldn't have made it on purpose I mean that, that would just hurt of in my world but when Eileen I was cutting circles one day and she said don't throw that away it was like Oh, God, I have to keep this trash. 
And then the first time I did this sort of project, it was like, well, that was fun as hell. It really was. So now I keep a bucket of trash, bucket of trash, and I shove it under the bed using it. So I don't know that I have the bucket of trash. Um, until I want to use it. Oh, now see, oh, that's plastic. Yeah, I'm not going to put plastic on it. But yeah, you could cut this stuff out of magazines, whatever. It's really most of it. The odd shape stuff is mostly just leftovers from when you cut out circles is really all it is. And you could see. And I'm not crazy about straight edges, but after it's on here and you've done other stuff, you don't even realize it. Or you can disguise it. And really, the more layers, the better. Sounding like Jean, I'm growling. I wonder how Jean's doing. I think about Jean a lot. She's probably sitting knitting. Went on, so she's making hats and gloves and everything you can imagine. This one says love on it, so it's got to go somewhere. Right there. When the matte medium just gets too grungy, get rid of it. Need yellow, huh? Don't have enough yellow this time. Gotta break up some of that. Your trash stuff, well, that just means you've been hanging out with Eileen too long, Sharon. That's what I think every time I have to move this trash pile or whatever. 
where it's just like ever let Eileen convince me that this was a great idea. But she did. The tissue paper, you guys, works really, really good. Um, because it's nice and thin, it works awesome. In fact, I got some of that out. I should tear some of it up. And it's see-through enough that it will um, absorb kind of the colors that are it, which is nice. Or at least let it show through. You know what I mean. You know what I mean? I just looked up a chat and we're supposed to be drowning in lemonade. I definitely have missed out on the conversation. Ooh, that one's a good one. You can see the texture underneath it. Really, really good. Sometimes you just know when things are right. All right, looking at the screen, Elaine said earlier, when you get lemons, make lemons. Oh, my God, isn't that true? No, I mean, yeah, now that I put it in perspective, yes, we should be drowning in lemonade. 
Good thing I like lemonade. Yeah, I think you're not alone there, Elaine. I think we've all had a crap this year. But it's going to get better. There's no doubt in my mind. I'd be an optimist, so yeah, it's going to get better. Can't get any worse, right? Look at crap is going to be sticking to my hands for a week. Partial circles are really cool too. Don't forget partial circles. Trying to figure out where I need some color or. same boat i'm grateful i live in the boonies and away from the city yeah me too elaine um robert and i talk about that a lot that we're just thankful that we live where we do you know not have um its share of headaches as well and I complain a lot about it but at the end of the day honestly no place I would rather be than Monkey Island Oklahoma that's the truth I love it here I love my neighbors um well I like some of my neighbors better than others but yeah, it's a very safe, nice place to be. So um, even though I whine about people and stuff like that, don't ever think that I'm not, oh, I love that one. You were going to use it. Um, that I'm not absolutely, totally grateful. I am. I don't want it in the center, though. Yeah, we'll put it down here. I never, not, not one day, that I don't thank God for all the blessings that he has given me. Least of which is a beautiful place to live. Yeah, Elaine, we think with all these circles, I would find one that I want, right? love to live there again Jilly I, I think if you live a life of gratitude um, it just makes so many obstacles that you might encounter in your life more manageable that's how I look at it you know is I try and live a grateful for the big things grateful for the small things because many many times it truly is the little things that make very, very valuable. I was just trying to think, um, was it your cottage? Was your cottage, Elaine, that just sold again? I just heard the other day, and I'm almost sure they said it was your cottage. Count your blessings. It could be and is a lot worse. Uh, isn't that true? Um, 
I think it's easy to forget that we live in one of the most beautiful, freest um, countries on earth. And we're remiss if we don't occasionally up and count our blessings. I'm almost sure it was your cottage, Eileen, or Elaine. And there was one at Mainstay. Um, yeah, I think it was just recently. And there was another one at Mainstay that sold this week or last two weeks or something. Like in one day. In one day. It was, they showed it once and it was sold. Makes me wonder, should I put the house on the market? Might be a good time. No, I'm not going anywhere at least not willingly okay I got a mess going on down here I need to take care of it Just looking to see if there's places where I want anything else. Oh, this one's really blue, isn't it? Judy has a listing east of east of Broken Arrow. Are you thinking about moving? just got some matte medium on my eyelid. <gasps> 735,000 sold east of Broken Arrow. I'm trying to think. That's probably pretty far out in the boonies. I pick up blue every time. So true. I've been in many places in the world. The USA is awesome. It is. It is. You're here for the long haul. There's something down here that is just not setting well with me. That's why I keep coming back to it. It's being... Let me see if I can find some yellow or something to pep it up. Yeah, that's how I feel too. I'm here for the long haul. I'm not planning anything soon. But who knows? I mean, I'm not getting any bigger, so... Maybe someday I'm just going to go, you know what? I don't want to take care of this big-ass place anymore. All right. I'm going to punch a hole. Yeah, because I like that on the last one. Come on. Yeah, well, if I'm, I'm going to sell everything where it sits. You come in, you buy it, you haul it off. I'm not moving anything. That's why I'm probably going to assisted living. <laughs> so I'm not moving any of this crap. Maybe some of my art stuff. But the rest of it, no, I have no interest in moving anything. But I am going to go shopping here probably before Thanksgiving for new furniture. Because now that I have no pets, no pet hair, no nothing, no kids, blah, blah, blah. I think I'm going to buy probably the last furniture I'll ever buy in my life. Um, and I'm thinking 
I'm going to do it before Thanksgiving. Do you think I'm kidding about this? I am so ready for somebody to clean my house, make my meals, clean my laundry. Like, um, just give me my car. Let me do what I want. And you take care of the rest. You still have your storage? And, oh, Elaine, you've got to do something about that. Man, I've been nagging at you for years about that. One's wanting to pop up. I do need a staff. Because, I, you know, I mean, I cook for us 99% of the time, maybe even 99.5. And I, I've done that forever with the kids and everything else. And I'm ready for somebody to just ring a bell and say, ma'am, your dinner. And I'd be like going, woohoo, I vote for you. That's what I want. Somebody to come by and say, ma'am, your dinner is so great. I'm on it. And it's not even like it, they would, it would have to be hard for them. Like all they have to do is cook a pizza and I'm happy okay I'm gonna set this one aside and let it dry and I'm gonna start stenciling being on this one I think and I'll decide it's not completely but it's dry enough that um, I think I can work on it I'm gonna trim the edges because you're a queen I am well or I think I should be treated like one even though I don't really have the title so proclaimed but see I wouldn't like um, living the life of a queen you know under constant scrutiny and everybody's watching every move you make that would not be appealing to me but I'll the other junk, the diamonds, the <laughs> the staff, all that other stuff. Yeah, I'd be down with that. I mean, does the queen even have to think very much? Like, I have to think all the time. Are the bills paid? Do we have milk in the house? Like, a queen doesn't even have to think, probably. Like, milk would be not on her radar but it's something i have to think about a couple times a week at least that stuff clutters up your life there now it's all trimmed off it looks nice i'll fold it and see that the fold is working <clears throat> dreads with diamonds <laughs> I feel that too. <laughs> yeah. Probably just going to have to throw that away. All right. I just got out the same old stamps that I use time just to make some marks. Um, I like this. Um... What do I want to call it? Like script. And so I'm going to add some black. And then I'll add probably some black ladders. And by doing this here and there, 
it also kind of unifies it. It drops into the background. It's not annoying. It's not in your face. I think I'll get out the navy blue pad too. This one kind of is just blue. I think I'll enhance that. Some bladders. Splatter. Splatters. Splatters. Black splatters and black circles. Um, where's the navy blue pad? Yeah, I'm liking the colors, too. And this stuff, honestly, it just kind of disappears into the background. You don't even recognize what your eyes seeing, for the most part. One more layer of texture. And I don't want to overdo, obviously. But having a random pattern, um, the same throughout, I think it also kind of just brings it all together. If I had the bladders, I wouldn't mind putting them. Oh, you know what else I got out? Um, maybe I'll do the circles with um, some color shift paints. I got out the color shift paints because I never ever use my color shifts. So let's see what we got. This color shift, huh? It looks black. Let's see what we got. I could do gold, champagne gold color shift. I'm thinking the purple, the purple that shifts to blue might be really nice. Let's try that. Watch your CB, she said. I'm not going to overdo it. Don't you guys start ganging up on me either. That's baloney. I ain't putting up with that. I don't know if you have to shake this. I imagine you do. And this is just stuff I saved to make circles, um, different size stuff. I do, I'm going to keep them pretty small because um, the jar cover itself isn't that big, right? So that's probably as big a circle as I'm going to use. Hang on, I got notifications covering up my chat. Oh, what can I use? Just a piece of trash. <laughs> I don't know if this is going to work or not. It's kind of pretty, though. It might not be dark enough is the thing. Yeah, it's not going to be dark enough. Definitely for this. Bummer, dude. Let's see what it looks like on the dark blue, though. Oh, now see if it's on the dark blue, then it looks good. But everywhere else, I think it's just too light. All right, I'm going to use the black. Do it on the dark blue. Yeah, Norma just said, do it on the dark blue.
I guess I could do it anywhere it's dark. But I'm going to do it uh, with black. And I'll use the color shift. I don't know what color the color shift black switches to. It looks kind of gold. All right, let's give it a go. I will probably ink the edges, but I won't do it until um, I get the back done. If you guys have any suggestions, puke it out now. Because I'm sitting here, do I want, I think I'm going to do black splatters. But white could be good too. Okay. Is she okay? Car broke down or something. Okay. I'm not sure what. Lane just called me and asked me if I could go, go there to Sully. Oh, okay. All right, honey. Then. Okay. I hope you can help fix it for whatever it is. I hope so. Okay, Didi, I will. Go have fun. All right, just trying to decide. You know what I could do? And it's white. Did I bring white paint out? I don't think I did. Wait, wait. Yep, I did. I bought a little bit of white. Wicker white. I don't think it's bright, bright white. Rescue Amy. Car broke down in Vanita. Robert helps everybody. Robert, he is, Norma, he is the nicest guy. He will do literally anything for anybody. Hi, Sherry Ann. Um, yep. Anybody can call Robert anytime, night or day. And he will all the stops. He'll do anything he can to help anybody. He's just a good, good egg. I don't like this cork. It, it's kind of gotten such. Let me use the other side. And the thing is, Robert is so utterly capable. Um, like there's nothing. I've never really seen him get stumped by a problem. He can always figure it out. One way or another, it may take him a couple days, but he will get almost anything figured out. All right. See how just those little things that you 
add there at the end, it ties everything together. Robert is a sweetheart. He absolutely is. I've never met a nicer man. He's just genuinely good. It is a perfect word for Robert Vaughn. He's just a good, good person. And I thank God every day for Robert Vaughn too. I never try and take it for granted. That's why I think my living here and being here was fate. Um, because I was married um, when we moved here and um, we had no inclination at all that we were, were moving anywhere, much less Monkey Island, Oklahoma. And I'll just sorry real quick, some of you may have heard it, but I was here on business. And um, my husband had come with me. My husband's name was Jim. Um, had come with me. And while I was um, at meetings during the day, he took the rental car and just went out driving. And at night, he came back to the hotel and he said, would you consider staying over the weekend? He said, I, I was out, drive, came across the coolest place. And... Um, it was this house that I currently live in. And I said, sure. And we had not, of course, both of us worked in Denver, had careers in Denver. And so we had not moving to Oklahoma. We had kids in Colorado. My whole family was in Colorado. We literally had never discussed moving. And um, so I said, sure. Yeah, why not? On Saturday, we came out here, and it is a real place. It's, of course, on the lake, and a um, little two-lane road in, one way, dead end. Just so unique. Nothing that we were used to living in the city, for sure. And he think if I make an offer she would take it she does not want and this is in october she does not want to live here at the lake dinner so i was like i don't care do whatever you think and he said at the very least we'll make money we'll turn around and sell it and make money i was like okay fine do it so we're walking up the driveway he made an offer she accepted it and i we were walking up the driveway said and done i was just like holy crap we just bought a house in Oklahoma. I mean, we don't, all our entire lives are in Colorado. I'm done, you know, like then you get the recriminations. But we ended up, Robert, er, Jim <laughs> took early and I asked to be transferred. And we moved a year later. And it was shortly after we moved here, Jim was diagnosed with brain tumor and had surgery and disabled. So for the next three years, we lived here and I took care of him all by myself. I didn't know anybody. I met one guy. I met Woody down the street um, in the position that Amy's husband's in now. So Woody was my, like, literally my only friend. And then my brother moved to the other side of the lake. Um, three years later, Jim's brain tumor recurred, and he never missed after his surgery, and he, I removed life support, and he passed away in 2000, and when my brother had moved here, he bought a air conditioning business from Robert Vaughn, and so I had met Robert Vaughn, and his mother was sick time that Jim was in the hospital in a coma and my brother started bugging Robert 
my sister's not eating my sis you know my sister she you know take her to eat do whatever and so i knew robert vaughn i had met him but of course didn't know and um another weird part of the story is when jim had his brain tumor we were going down to um, the Scott White Institute in Waco, Texas, to get a second opinion on the second surgery. And um, on the way, Jim starts the whole conversation of, you know, if this doesn't go as planned, I want you to remarry. And I'm like, we're not having the conversation. And he said, no, we need to have this. And I was like, no, nope, we're not having the conversation. And he said, well, I just want you to know if, if this doesn't go as planned, I want you to remarry. I want you to have a happy life. And I said to him so clearly, because I'm a homebody, I said, in order for me to even meet anybody, they'd have to come pound on my door. And we kind of just left it at that. But he, he told me that. So anyway, months, months, months down the road, whatever, um, Jim's... And one Friday night, I was getting ready to go over to the neighbors for um, happy hour. And here comes a knock on my door. And it's right. And he said, I was just wondering if you want to go get something to eat with me. And I said, well, I'm going over to the neighbors for a happy hour. Why don't you go with me? So we went over there. And we ended up playing pool and drinking until 3 o'clock in the morning. Crazy thing is... I'm not a drinker. Neither one of us are pool players. I probably hadn't played pool in 15 years or more. Robert probably had never. And um, we stayed till like 3 in the morning. And we've pretty much been hanging out ever since. So I just believe it was fate that Jim brought me here. So that I could end up having life with somebody a good person who um i truly like hanging with because most, most people you maybe know this about me most people i don't care for them well maybe it's because i don't give anybody a chance because i just soon stay out you know what i mean so yeah that's how Robert and I together, I think we've been incredibly happy. Robert had met Jim, of course, when my brother bought the business. So Jim knew. So that makes me feel pretty comfortable that, um, you know, he at least knew Jim. And Jim knew him. And the kids, both his kids and my kids are just amazing um happy for us inclusive i mean we don't have any family issues nothing in fact when we went to colorado to see my kids one time um we went to pick up my granddaughter and robert went in with um Jamie, Kayla, and he told me later that ja Jamie had introduced him to the ladies there at the daycare as my step-stepdad, which made me really happy, which means that the kids totally dig Robert. The first time the kids came and Robert there, because I'm not really sure I exactly told the kids that he had moved in. Um, well, my mother figured it out it out first because I had beer in my refrigerator and I never had beer in my refrigerator and so one day she had been in my refrigerator came out and asked me she said Robert Bond's living here isn't he I said why would you think that and I wasn't going to lie to her but I thought well how did she figure that out Jimmy you have beer in your refrigerator <laughs> like yep mom Robert Vaughn is staying here but when the 
came the first time and figured out, you know, of course, it was five minutes in before they knew Robert was staying here. And um, I don't know how long it was, but they came back in and they said, hey, Robert, we have a gift for you out in the backyard. Um, and he went out back and they had a noose hanging from the tree. So they started kidding with him, like, immediately. So, yeah, it worked out really, really good. Like an old line line from an old song, and I don't like anybody very much. Well, this DB, some people make it really hard to like them. I'm going to check and see if faces are popping up. Yeah, some people make it really, really hard, you know? So I've just been, that's all I could say. And I'm sorry if you've heard that story before. I don't mind talking about it. I don't mind talking about my late husband. Um, Robert's a good guy, and Jim was equally a good guy. Robert and I just live different a life than say Jim and I did because Jim and I of course had the kids and it was busy 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 you know we'd living in the city and jobs and it was just never ending you because most of you have that kind of life you know if you're younger so we just had different kind of lives I met Robert after he'd sold his business um so, of course, by then I had quit my working because I had taken care of Jim. That was walking was because Jim needed care. And I never went back. Don't miss it. Never miss work for a day. The, El Elaine moved in. I don't even remember when, but she lived across down about 120 steps. <clears throat> it's hard for me to appreciate that I've lived here um, 24 years. That's the thing that kills me is where the hell did that 20 years go or 24 years or however much you know it's like i have no clue where all that time it has sped by and i've never missed colorado not for a minute of one hour of one day which i thought i would never ever leave colorado Hopefully I don't rub Janet. No, Josie, you're so damn funny. I find you delightful, frankly. And I say that I don't like people. Um, I actually do like some people. Gosh, I don't know which one I like better. They're both really nice. It'll be nice to let them sit and dry. <laughs> you are my Tweety Bird fix. Showing a soft side. I do have a soft side. I just don't put up with BS. Anybody who knows me well will confirm that. I have a pretty soft side. I love kids. I take that back. I like well-behaved kids. If your kids aren't well-behaved, keep them the hell away from me because I will discipline your children 
and for you. But otherwise, I do love well-behaved children. And don't tell me that kids today are different than kids have ever been. Parents are different. They don't make their damn kids behave. Well, we've made them think that disciplining ruins your kids. When in fact, disciplining your, your kids makes them good kids. Kids that people, other people want to be around. Because I love to be around kids that are well behaved. Kids that think the world owes them something. No, I hate those little bastards and I would beat their ass in a minute. But, God forbid you touch anybody else's kid. I agree, Jane. Kids like to know what are. I absolutely believe that. <laughs> we are so much alike. That's good, Kiki. Hi, by the way. It's nice to meet you, BFF. Death glare. Yeah. I mean, kids have to know what the limits are. And I don't think you're being mean. I don't think you're warped life. Um, I think you can discipline kids, do it reasonably, and um, make your kids somebody that I want to be around. I don't think it's that hard. I'm going to get a stencil over here. Hang on. My favorite, one of my very favorite stencils. And I think I'm going to do it. Of course, now I've got wet paint on there. Brilliant. <laughs> You're lurking and listening. Hi, Joan. Um, let's see, did I bring, do I have navy blue paint? All right, I'm going to do, because I can, and I haven't made nearly a big enough mess yet, I'm going to be cleaning up at 10 tonight. I'm not going to use the color shift, I'm just going to use... Some regular navy blue paint folk art I think this is still paint that I have from my mother let me see if I have it here I should have something just something to sponge on some paint where is my there it is I hate glasses. Can't can't see without them. Now there's a lot of texture here, so like a stencil like this, I don't know how it's out if it's going to come out good or not. And I'm not going to use a ton of it, but just here and there on the more bland areas or across the spine. Is that okay? CB, I didn't get too carried away, did I? When I had been naughty as a child, the best thing to do was run, creep back at tea time, and you got, got the look rather than a smack. Yeah, this is a good stencil, right? 
you know, the crazy thing in my family was um, we were disciplined, but, and I don't know what it was that my dad did, but there was almost nothing I would have ever done to disappoint my dad. My dad never had to hit me, but I was afraid of my dad, not in a bad way. And that um, I just never would have done anything to disappoint my dad. Not so much mom, but mom wasn't plenarian. She would yell. She would yell her head off at you. But um, <clears throat> but dad, I don't know what he had done ever because he never hit any of us. You asked me it all the time. We did not. Where did my... Well, oh, there it is. Um, yeah, you just you wouldn't disappoint my dad. So you, you just behaved. You got good grades. You didn't sass. If he told you to do something, did it. He would be like, okay, say you brought home a bad grade or something. To ask you, well, are you satisfied with that? Did you do the best you could do? And if you really knew you could do better, that was the last question I wanted to hear. You okay with that? You like that grade? See, when you put a few elements like this on it, it just kind of ties it all together. Yep, help. Healthy respect, absolutely the truth. Okay, bye, Flo. Go have a great day. I think that yellow needs a little some edge. And I could either ink that or whatever, but I think I'm just going to disguise the edge a little bit with some of the blue. So it's not just so in your face. So I could use something right in there too. But I think. Now I will add some red. This um, red that Dee Dee sent me out of that makeup line of Jane Dow. No clue what to do with this, you guys. None. But I thought, well, oh, it smells good. But yeah, I'm not sure. Add some red here and there. I wonder if she is deciding that this um, makeup line was just not that great an idea. Because they have an appearance at um, Hobby Lobby, and I did notice this the other day. They had it on clearance, and people still aren't buying it, even at the um, clearance price. Okay. 
and more little bit of red somewhere. Because I really don't know what you would use this for other than something like this. For real. It does smell good though. It goes on pretty thick. That's why I'm kind of smearing it back a little bit. Because it does pretty, pretty thick. Dries fast, though. And I don't know. Don't ask them in or dot. I don't know. Yeah, that little bit of red's fine. I like that. Anything else? Thanks, Norma. I think this one's about done. I'll go over it when I'm after everything's completely dry. I will go over this one more time with a coat of matte medium to make sure everything is glued down really, really good and it's not going to be popping off. And then the inside, see how it got all goobered up? That's why I always save this for last because I'll clean all, all this mess up and then I'll probably use... Um, some magical paper towels. Let me see. One of these has this so I can show you what it looks like. Or you could, at this point, too, rather than glue on the inside, you could just scrape paint on it, too. Um, not that big. But here's the... Um, what the inside will look like when I just found some magical paper towels. And it's just paper towels that I've used to mop up the excess Magicals when I play with Magicals. So, yeah, that's what the inside will look like. And I won't do that on stream. That's just making you guys agonize that much further. What the heck did I do here? Got my elastic tied up in my sock monkey. See him? He's so cute. So, yeah. All right. Let's see what we want to do with this now. I did the... I think this one... I got to move everything because I think I'm going to get really crazy and do splatters on this one. I like this one the way it is. I don't think I'm going to splatter this one. But I think I'm going to splatter... Where's the... I'll just use the navy blue. Why not? Here. Look at my poor splatter brush. Ah. Those I keep in water all the time. That's why. Sharon, why are you saying no? You're saying no, don't splatter. Oh, I just broke that brush, so it's going in the garbage. You're saying no, don't, don't splatter? I won't do, um... Well... Not that I'm going to have a whole hell of a lot of control, frankly. Um, all right, you want me to splatter on something else before I splatter onto this? Splatter's only on one. Okay, Billy, go have a fun day. See, there'd just be little splatters. I really like this one a whole, whole lot until Eileen made me do the um, drippage. 
like that one with just the splatters it would have been fine but see these are just little baby splatters they're not a know your face splatters And I don't have a, um, well, those I could plug it in. I was going to say, I don't have my heat gun plugged in, so. I'm going to have splatters on my ceiling. Come on, splatter, would you? Not the best splatter brush in the world. There we go. You can't see? Yeah, it, they're fine splatters. They're not great big fat boy splatters. They're just, see, like a little dot here and there. I mean, if I water, I could get some splatterage, but I don't think I want that on this one. Like these little baby splatters here and there suit me just fine go ahead and ink the edge the only thing i well no i'm not gonna i was just gonna say if i round the corners but if i round the corners that means i have to round the inserts too so i think i'm not gonna do that and if whoever wins it wants the um corners rounded have to do it themselves but i am gonna go ahead well no i'm gonna hit this with the heat gun or maybe the other one's already dry and i can yeah see i like the one with the little bit of splatterage better where is my plug there it is this real quick. Heat gun. It's dark. The splatterage is dark blue, but it's hard to tell. It looks black to me. All right, let me see. And then inking the edges. In this is just my opinion. The inking the edges of anything just makes it look more cohesion complete to me and how much or how little you do is entirely up to you I just think it makes it look better And this is really watered down, so it's not leaving a, a real dark inked edge. If you, if I wanted that, I probably would get out a stamp pad and do it. Yeah, 
Yeah, it is kind of like a frame, right, Carla? Just finishes it off to me. Now, I don't even think it's all that noticeably, but it just does make it look better. And I think whether or not you ink the um, spine is entirely up to you, but knowing that it's going to be folded and that this is actually one piece of art, kind of like the second, I usually do ink the spine as well. I need to trim that little dude off. Still just a little damp. I suppose I should trim that off right now. I didn't realize that my fold was not exact off, so I can ink it right now while I've still got this stuff out, right? CB is here. She's a mod. I think between CB and I, we could probably do a giveaway. So the rules of the giveaway will be one number, one number only. After I type go into the chat, if your number's already been picked, don't get to choose another one. It's the first num first person without going over between 1 and 100. So, plenty of numbers to pick from. Um, I will send this international because it can fit an envelope. So, everybody can participate. sure which one I'll send out because at this point in my mind they're just about the same that will end up being the front because this one has love on the back where you can read it but it doesn't probably really matter so um, oh Sharon I worked in a newspaper so I used an exacto all day every day I definitely am a Exact. My favorite cutting tool. Love me an exacto. So let me ink the edges and we'll go ahead and do a before I screw up. Nope, this one the fold is right. I don't know how I got that other one goofed up. And this is the size of a, a Midori a standard size traveler's notebook so if you have a traveler's notebook journal it will fit in there I don't know what kind of paper I'll put in it but uh, yeah I'll go ahead and and build the insert so that it's not just the cover but that it's got the inside pages as well 
what I'll use. I'm using my finger because I this is not watered down paint now, so. And this is why I don't have a lot of my stuff around the house is because when I make steam, I like to give it away. So, like the initials, single initials and stuff like that. Generally what I make on stream, I generally give away. Rarely make something to keep. And if you don't have them, Dory Cup, always just use it as a regular journal. Um, you might go ahead and um, bind it, you know. And if you need to see how that ha happens, I can show you. Not hard. Most of you, I'm sure, have seen it. Just a simple pamphlet stitch would work great. And I don't know who Dee Dee and I are having on this Thursday. I think she told me, but I forgot. But those of you that don't know, most of you are from Dee Dee, so you're going to know that Dee Dee and I stream on Thursdays, generally have a guest. I'm trying to convince CB that she should come in with us. Right? So there's the two covers that we completed today. I think they're fun. I like them a lot. They're awesome. Okay, let me move some of my trash so I can see chat. Ugh, I have trash everywhere. Damn you, Eileen. She's not even here and I'm bitching at her. That's awesome. <laughs> it's on the floor, it's everywhere. Okay, the rules again. One number, one number, only one between numbers between one and 100 after I type go, go closest without going over will win um, I will generate the number on random dot let me get my phone going here oh they want to do a software update at the least in time yeah, after I type go. And there, there's 49 people here, so it should be pretty simple. And it's eligible for everybody. So let me get random.org. If I could type with my gluey fingers. Well, that's there's the one I want. Okay. You guys have all seen this at DD's between 1 and 100 after I type go. Get after it, boys and girls. One number only. I'll just give it a few seconds so that everybody who wants to participate can. Can I put in a number? Okay, number's still going in. I'll give you a little while well longer. Cheryl need a new number. No, if you pick a number that somebody already has chosen, chosen you only choose one sorry you don't get to choose just be one number between one and 100 
that DDs will throw you out for that. If somebody else already chose your number before you, tough luck. All right, I'm going to type in stop, stop, stop. No more numbers. Ooh, Jane, you got in there right at the very end. Or did you already have one and you changed it? Yeah, you can only choose one number. All right, where did the number... It went away already. All right, number between 1 and 100. Can you guys see that or is it too flashed out? Generate. Here we go. Number 87. 87. Holy crap. Sharon Marlowe. First one after I type go. Sharon, you won. I don't know that that's ever happened that the first person after go won. That's amazing. Yep, Sharon, very first one. So, Sharon, let me check real quick. Um, let's see. Um, are you with the same one? Um, State Highway Y. Why? Terrific lag. Is there a lot of lag? You went over at Jamie's too? That's awesome. It is your lucky week. So I think, um, can you have the loved one, the one that says love? Yes, you can. That's the one that's coming your way. Get a lotto ticket, yeah. Um, but yeah, just tell me if you're at the same address. If you why highway Y. And if it is, I'll get it out. I'll try and get it out tomorrow. I've got some other mail that's got to go too. So... Well, no, I won't get it out tomorrow. Sorry, because I've got to finish the inside. So it won't go tomorrow. Okay. Then I have your chair and you don't have to send it to me. All right, what the hell? Let's do another giveaway. Let's give both of them away. Okay? So let's do the same thing, same rules, only we're going to pick different numbers this time. One number only. If your number picked... You don't get to pick another number. One number, one number only. We'll give the next one away. After I type go, put in another number and we'll um, we'll have another giveaway. I'll give them both away. What the hell? I don't care. Ready, set, go. I really want to splatter this one though. All right, we'll just give people a few little minutes. To get their numbers in, and then I'll generate a new number. And then we're going to call it a day, and I'm, I'm going to have the rest to clean up. All right, I haven't seen any new numbers go in for a minute. I'm going to type stop, stop, stop. And anybody that does not get to participate, ready, set, go. All right. There's our new numbers. Here's random.org. I'll try and get it as can see. Generate number, number 60. So the number closest to 60 without going over.
All right, according to what I'm looking at, it's Jane. Jane Litterick with 55. See if you agree with that. Yep, Sharon says Jane as well. Jane, I just sent you something. I don't think I put your... Num your address in my book. No, 62 went over, Barbara. You only get... It's the first number without going over. All right, Jane, you sent me the address for the um, monogram, right? Okay. All right. I'll just get a hold of you if for whatever reason I don't still have it because I didn't write it in my book. But probably look in my emails and you'll um, have it. So let me write Jane on here. But it's going to take me a day or two probably to finish these insights, but I will definitely be getting that out to you. All right, so congratulations, Jane and Sharon. Thanks for being supportive of my channel. I appreciate it. I wish I could make each one of you one. That's what I wish I could do. All right, I'll just leave that out here. Um, thank you for hanging with me today. Next Monday, there will not be a stream because we're going to the doctor. We're going to change the appointment. Um, but definitely, and I might do an impromptu um, just, to, I don't know, I'll see how things are going next week. Um but yeah, I appreciate you guys so so much. Each other, um, we can agree. We can agree to disagree. Don't forsake your friends over disagreements, especially political disagreements, because it's damn stupid. So, go have fun. Be creative. Be kind to each other, and always remember we love you guys. And I'll see you later. Bye. Adios, Amagos.